would be the greatest. You are royalty. You are bound and destined for greatness. Do nothing normal. Do nothing pedestrian. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. You never thought of running for office? That had to come up in some discussion somewhere. There is this great weight of expectation and anticipation. Like many sons of famous fathers, there's sort of a big mountain to climb. Very much a Kennedy. Very devoted to his family, to the name, to the history. He said, you know, I've been thinking. I mean, everybody expects me to be a great man. I wonder if it wouldn't be a much more interesting challenge to see if I couldn't make myself a good man. John was smart enough to know, I'm Junior. I'm not my father. He lived his life the way he wanted to and was able to deal when people would recognize him. There really wasn't a time in John's life that he wasn't famous. The Native American said it when somebody takes your picture, you lose a piece of your soul. How he retained his soul after hundreds, thousands of pictures is one of his greatest accomplishments. Oh, do I have the sexiest man in the galaxy on the phone? <laughs> It's sort of unfair business about him failing the New York bar exam. Hillary Clinton failed it, and all I hear about is how brilliant she is. Ladies and gentlemen, meet George. And I remember those magazines, they were sexy. I literally had the balls to become George Washington. He thought politics was too important to be left to the politicians. Thank you. You know, in Washington, the big phrase is suck up and piss down. You never once saw him do that. You never once. You done crown king with king privileges and he didn't want him. <laughs> I believe that he had greatness in him, and I don't give a damn if that meant anything about politics. <laughs>